you have anything that anybody would like to share before we get into this afternoon's program? I'd like to ask you a question. The, the book that we got last year, can we get a hard copy of it? You, you gave us, you're going to give us a digital copy, right? Yeah. Well, today, yes. Okay. Is, is it possible to get a hard copy? Let me check with Dackle. It's there. Okay. It's them that's asked me to present it to you all. Okay. Let's find out. What you could do is anybody wanting a hard copy, perhaps you can put your name in the chat requesting it. And then I will go to Dackle and say, look, we need X and blah, 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 hard copies and see what. <laughs> How about that? Okay. <laughs> Um, hey, Teresa, I think they're able to request it on the website, yeah. so I, I can look at that during our session today. Oh, okay. That's yeah, enough. yeah, yeah. I was just thinking, um, Teresa, if we could, um, I can just show them how to access it on their iPads, because I know you're going to be showing it from your um, computer, right? So right. I'll just show them how to access it, and then um, I'll look to see if they can go to Dackle's website directly request it. If not, you can do what you said and uh, ask Dackle, okay? Okay. We'll go with that. So I'll allow, um, before we get in, I want to apologize. Um, Alice um, Thompson, our DACL advocate, uh, was supposed to be uh, this afternoon presenting the DACL resources. However, uh, um, Alice has had knee surgery and she's recovering from it. So um, we're doing the best we can to still deliver. We, we, we're not gonna be able to do it the way Alice would have done so, but we'll do our best. Okay. <laughs> Okay. okay, we'll do our best. We'll answer as many questions as we can. And those we can't, we'll take and then find out later to get answers for. How about that? That'll work. Yeah, that'll do the job? Okay. Yep. That will do the job. Right. Okay. So I'm going to hand the mic over to, um, to Alex just to get, I, I think he wants to show you something. And then he wants to talk about the super... Uh, the senior bowl, and then we'll go in. Then I'll start with the resource guide. Okay. Okay. okay thank you. Great. Well, it's nice to see you all on today. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. And uh, I hope you enjoy the our talk show this morning and the lunch club. So uh, it's nice to see you all. And uh, yes, today, unfortunately, yes, we could not have Miss uh, Thompson come on, but uh, again, we decided because it's really important to know all the resources that are available to you, we decided to do um, this resources guide training. So in your emails today, um, alongside um, the daily reminder, you should have received the DAFO resources guide um, in the attachment, but it's also on the image. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen on my iPad and show you what it looked like when it came to your guys' email. So again, when you open your email for today, you should have received something that looks like this. So again, I went to, it's sent in the morning. So I'm going to my morning email. So again, along with the daily reminder for today, you should have received this resource guide as well. So this resource guide, you can tap, my bad, you can tap on the doc, on the actual image in the, um, in the email if you wanna open it um, on Safari, but it's also attached as a PDF. So you're able to just tap on it and then open the guide from here. So again, Teresa is probably gonna show it to you from her, her computer, but this is what it will look like when you guys are on your iPad and looking at this guide. When you're here, you can do certain things like searching for the pages just by swiping on the left-hand side and tapping each page to view it. So you can scroll to the middle if you'd like, for example, if you wanna specifically go to a certain page. Whenever you're in a PDF, you see the navigation bar at the top. So first you see the name of the document. You can tap on that document and um, like save it to your files. You can even print it if you have access to a printer and you can even uh, share the guide because it is a document. So you can share it um, by email if you'd like. Um, at the top, those are some options as well. So we just went over share. So again, you can share it. You can also save it to your files and print this document from here. 
um, the magnifying glass is very useful. It's the find button. So if you're looking for, um, let's say employment, I can type in employment. Yeah, so it's it's a quite a big document. There's over 284 pages. So sometimes it uh, takes a second to load up. But look, I have 77 results. And if I type in employment, look, there's one out of 65. So it's the first one. I can, at the bottom, you can go by the arrow and it takes you to different pages with that word. So look, DC Job Bank, but this is under the employment section. So you see, and I'm on seven, page 73. So it's really easy to search for things within a document, again, by hitting that magnifying glass at the top. Once you're done, you hit done, you can always go back to the document. When you're even just generally in a PDF, the next two buttons, that's how you can add certain things. The first one, you can add or like sign in places if there's like a application that you're filling out and there are like spots where you can fill it out, you would be able to add text boxes or add a signature here or just in general. So um, <clears throat> that's one feature you can take advantage of. The pencil looking icon, again, you can edit things like this. So you can edit documents, you can add to documents, you can add things like text, and even your signature, this, so that's my signature right here. If you needed to add your signature to a document, you can do that as well. You can mark it up however you so choose to, but that's, um, again, some features that you can use when you're viewing a document on your iPad. You see when I hit done, I can either discard the changes or save it as a new file, et cetera. So um, again, this DACA resource guide was sent to you um, this morning. So make sure you check it out but if for whatever reason you are not able to access it, um, you can just go to Google and, and search for DACO Resources Guide. So if I go to Safari and then I search for DACO Resource Guide and hit go, it's the very first resource right here. It says Iona Senior Services Resource Guide. I go here. And look, it's in English and it's also in Spanish as well. And that's the, also the document straight from their website as well. You're also able to save it. So if I hit the share button, when I'm in a document on Safari, if I hit the share button, I can then um, save it to the file because I'm saving the PDF as well. So. There are many ways to find different resources, but for this one in particular, either through the email that we sent you guys or by simply just searching it on Safari. There's a lot of things you can look at. So um, today, Teresa will be going over some, um, some of the highlights um, throughout the guide, just again, showcasing what different resources are available and uh, will be available to answer any questions. But I hope that was helpful just for documents and opening them in emails and what you can do. I hope that was helpful. Thank you, Alex. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> All right. Now, what I'm going to do is go through the actual guide mm -hmm. and you can ask questions along the way. This is an interactive class. In other words, if we're in a particular section that you want to have answers to questions that may come to you, feel free to raise your hand and I'll be more than happy to address those questions the best I can. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, really quick, oh yeah, really quick, Teresa. So um, for the Senior Bowl, we're about 80% um, of the way there with our participants. So really good job for everybody signing up. So please make sure if you are interested in participating, make sure you sign up for the Senior Bowl. We have less than a week before the signups ends. And we did go to question earlier. You don't have to be signed up in order to um, just watch. Of course, everyone's welcome to watch, but it's a lot more fun to participate. So make sure you get your signups in and it's uh, the form has been sent out, so. Okay, now is my screen visible? 
Yeah, you're good to go, Teresa. Good to go. Okay. So as you can see, this is um, this is a guide that DACL had um, created for you all to utilize in the event that you need to find out more about what they do, what services are available in the DC. It's actually covering the whole DMV area, but we'll only focus on the DC area unless you have questions about other locations. Um, so it's, it's called the Iona Senior Services Resource Guide produced by um, DACL. And this guide has many, many pages. So as Alex said, you don't have to flick through the pages to find out exactly what you like. You can do a search on the digital copy that is. Um, by using the search bar, you can enter the area of interest. So if you wanted to find out about food or um, HR, anything to do with your needs, it's there, you can search for it in the search bar. And it comes, as you could see, in various different languages shown here. Um, so let's um, get started with this. Um, so let's just go through the table of contents. If there's any question as we go through the table of contents, raise your hand. I see a hand already raised. Let me get my... Um, uh, Hello. Yes, go how, ahead. How, how can I turn this up? I, can, I can't hear you too well. You can't. Okay, do you know where the volume buttons are on your iPad? It's If you're holding your your, vo your volume, but your iPad uh, in portrait style, you it should be to the right. There are two buttons, top one and a, one right below it. Do you um, feel those buttons somewhere on the side of your iPad? Two buttons? I feel the buttons. Okay. The, the I think. Way. Closest to the edge is the volume up, and the one below that is the volume down. Okay. I hope that helps. Okay. All right. I can hear you. So, all right. So, here's the table of contents. And you have, as Alex mentioned, you have access to this digital copy. Okay. Um, as you can see here, we have uh, all of, well, if you want to find out more about Iona, you can, but they have adult the um, health services for the District of Columbia on page 16. Um, stop me when you want me to um, basically go into any area of interest that you may have. For example, let's just go here. And I went into, I, all I did was clicked on it. You will place your finger on it with the iPad. And it says adult day health services and it gives you all the information about where they're located in the district of columbia it says it's an excellent option for adults who want to continue living at home but also need daytime supervision and health monitoring adult day health centers provide companionship and socialization for older adults with memory loss and cognitive and physical disabilities and provide much needed respite for family caregiver. So let's say you want to remain living in your home, but you need daytime you know, assistance. Well, there's the daytime health services that you can be a member of, and they will assist you with various needs, um, daily needs. There, um, there's one on, uh, on Albemarle Street, Northwest DC, and there's a phone number. Now, I, I do suggest if you, not able to access this for whatever reason, but you have a specific, you might want to have pencil and paper close by to write down information that you find there's a need for. Then they have another um, day center at, and this one is the Iona Congress Heights, and this is in Southeast at that time. And it says here, um, it provides, uh, it's a, uh, Wellness and Arts Center and Washington Home Center support older adults living with memory loss and cognitive physical disabilities by offering what? Individualized therapeutic social and health services during the day in a medically supervised environment. Yeah, you could stay at home and get medical, you know, during the day, you can go out to any one of these adult services and get 
help in anything that you may be struggling with. And it's especially if you have a memory loss and cognitive physical disabilities, okay? So that's one of their areas. That there's another one here. Um, Geneva N. Johnson Senior Center, and that's located at Black, Black Gen Avenue, Northwest. And they're providing geriatric daycare, recreation, socialization, health promotion, and so forth for frail elderly in the need of assistance with mobility. Okay. Here's another one, PSI, um, Medical Supervised Active Treatment Program for persons 55 and older who are living in the community and who have chronic medical conditions. All right, so that's the DC part. We're gonna stop here because this, this now goes into the uh, Maryland area. So again, you can always, um, let's go back here now. And I, as I mentioned, please stop me if you have um, any questions concerning the area that I'm covering. All right, so then there's Adult Education, Arts, Rec, and Exercises, District of Columbia. Let's go there. All right, so again, the Iona, um, the same um, Albemarle Street Northwest, um, same center offering adult education. Um, then there's the Active and Wellness at St. Albans. That's on Wisconsin Avenue. And that's a community site in person hub for around town DC programming. It says here that um, to participate in the morning and afternoon for a variety of fitness, arts, and music. So you can go get out the house if you choose to and participate in some of their activities there. Then there's BodyWise program on Connecticut Avenue Northwest um, is designed to promote health, wellness, and fitness for those of 60 years of all older. Then there's the Chinese Culture Community Center. I think that's, no, we're out, we're out of DC at that point. So that's not a DC one. Let's look at the DC. Now here's DACL. This is what DACL is saying. Um, senior Wellness Center is designed to help seniors continue and they have for different wards. They're covering different wards. So DACL is saying here, ward one, they're at the Bernice, Fontenay Senior Wellness Center on Georgia Avenue, okay? Then in Ward 2 and 3, they're at Around Town Satellite Wellness Program. Ward 4 at Hattie Holmes Senior Wellness Center. Ward 5 at the Model City Senior Wellness Center, and that's on Everts Street Northeast. Ward 6, Haynes Senior Wellness Center, Ward 7, uh, the Washington Senior Wellness Center in Al Alabama Avenue, Southeast, Ward 8, Congress Heights, and, and that's on Martin Luther King. All right, so these are the wards that, um, and their locations where you can have access to what? What can you have access to? You can explore new topics or connect with new friends, daily activities, group lunches, exercise equipment, computer labs, and a friendly atmosphere to keep seniors healthy, connected, and striving. So I guess now with the um, pandemic, um, well, I wouldn't say gone because it hasn't because it, you all had a peak on it just recently and uh, it still is there. But if you care to get out, these are some centers that you can get out and enjoy others, okay? All right, so let's go back now to, um, so we looked at uh, the adult education. Um, anybody need information on Alzheimer's disease and dementia care? Please raise your hand. If you don't, we'll hop over and go to the next section. Maybe you need help with that. Any information on where they can seek help? I don't see any hands raised. All right, so we'll hop over that. Um, because if you do, they're saying that there um, is a um, place available that where you can get help with that. Then it do you need help with benefits and applying for them? Any hands? Anybody interested in? finding out more about benefits and applying for them. 
I don't see any hands raised. Are you saying that you all don't need help with applying for benefits? I see two hands raised. All right, so let's go through this area. We've got three. Let's open up this area, 41, and see what they're talking about here. All right, so it says benefitscheckup.org. Here's their phone number. It's a national online tool to connect older adults and people with disabilities to benefit. It helps determine which programs may be eligible for and help you find out where to apply online or how to get help from a benefit counselor. Programs include Supplemental Nutrition um, Assistant Program, which is SNAP, Medical Savings Program, Medicaid, and Medi Medicare Part D, Low Income Subsidies, known as LIS, and an Extra Help. Okay, there's also, that's online, if you don't, if you have difficulty getting out. But if you wanted to get out, here's what you do. And it says it's sent for Medicare. You can call the Medicare uh, number, 800-633-4227. And that's a difficult number to reach. I would suggest if you do, I know they open till late Medicare, right? And then, uh, but, I don't think, as anybody, can anybody say, can you really walk into a social security office these days since the pandemic began? Please unmute. Go ahead. Don't you, you have to make an appointment, Ms. Uh, Teresa. You have to have an appointment, right? You're supposed to have an appointment. And I don't you, know if they changed you, it, but you, I know you, right you, before the uh, pandemic, you had to, um, you had to make an appointment. And I think it remains that, that way. It has no, no. You can walk in and walk you can walk in, in now. You'll be it's a line. Back to Excuse me. Get in a it's, line and then go in. Excuse me. Uh, from my understanding, I talked with someone there, and they said you can come in. You can walk yeah. in. Right yes. In. Awesome. So they're back to normal then. Oh, okay. Yeah. It seems like well, thank you for that information because that's not what I got a couple of weeks ago. But thank you. I guess it all depends on who you talk to to know what. Right. Yeah, um, yeah. Anybody been to the Social Security office recently? Anyone? Because that they would know the most recent I information. I, I did. Who did? did Who's that? Yvonne Smith. I went with a friend two weeks ago to the office in Northeast that's across from the uh, post office. And uh, so we went in there uh, and the, they did have an appointment, but there were people without appointments. They have a little kiosk where it's like a uh, a computer set up, you say why you're there, and yeah. they, tri they triage it. So they have one oh. window where maybe someone just wants a letter to say that they were getting benefits or whatever oh, else. God, but, they do, you know. but they do see walk-ins, that walk-ins are available, but it strongly yeah. encourages you to have an appointment. Uh-huh, you don't want to excuse they, me. No. And also, you can go to uh, Northwest 440, I think 441 or whatever it was, G Street, not G Street, Northwest. When the gentleman came on the phone was talking about you had to apply for your Medicare to keep it going, you can go there. Mm -hmm. I, okay. I think they're talking, no, about uh, they're talking about Medicaid, but their mm -hmm. SHIP office also can help with Medicare, people that are Medicare beneficiaries that Teresa well, probably talked about. Yeah, you can go, can I went there myself? The plan for my I Medicare. Went, I went to Medicare um, this year, June, when my brother passed away. But I did do a pre call to them, and they told me I couldn't use the existing office of Martin Luther King. And I went into Martin Luther King, I stated what I came from, and they uh, direct me to the window. And I talked, where well, I ended up talking to his Medicaid counselor there and took it all the business net. So I told him, What if I was coming from a regular Medicaid or recovery place? We see you walk in and do the same. Tell them what you come for, and you know they'll tell you to the window who can help you. Good. They're so they're doing walk-ins as well. Uh -huh. as yeah, they said appointments if you don't want to be there too long. Uh huh. But might end up being there long. So if you call and make appointment, tell them you have appointment. Do you go over everybody else like right. that? 
Thanks for sharing. Anybody else wants to share anything on this note? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's for Medicare we just talked about. Now, as far as the state health insurance assistant program, which would be Medicare, right? Am I correct? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, where, now, here, look at their number. They're, they're a different number. A different, so you, for, for um, D.C., you would want to call the 202-727-8370. Uh, if you need help with um, the that's the ship number, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, so that's what you reach out to for help. Now, there's also, no, that's Virginia, so we don't need to go look at Virginia. We're only looking at D.C. Uh, here's another place. This place is, for, uh, do we have any veterans in the group? If we do, they're saying that for vets, you can go to 810 Vermont Avenue and seek help there. If, if there are veterans. Any veterans, okay? Also, um, for the um, Social Security admin, here's another location they're saying. It delivers a broad this range of online. Southwest. Yeah, this, this what, one what, here seven? is Southwest, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's it as far as the uh, medical insurance is concerned, whether it's Medicare or Medicaid, um, that's where you go to seek it's, help. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, the, the young lady was on last week, was talking about the PACE program. Because mm -hmm. I asked the lady, I got in touch with the lady downtown with that PACE program and all mm -hmm. about independent living for um, for a, a pay, for, what, program of all inclusive care for the elderly. That's what that program is all about. Well, she needed more information on that. Is that in that book? So well, let's it's... find out. We'll find out. And it's called yeah, the PACE P -A -C -E. Inclusive Living. Mm. All right, so uh, okay. let, one, let me finish with this section and I'll do a search. Okay, okay. okay. So, uh, there's the care management and elderly care consultants. This is it's a social work and nurse manager to help older adults and their family address care giving needs. Typically trained in social work or nursing, care managers help by assessing an older adult's need, developing a long-term care plan ranging for services and monitoring for future needs. Now it appears that Iona Management, I contracted for by DACL, who handles that, okay? It says here, um, it, it, here it, let's see what it says. It says, it's comprised of a theme of experienced licensed social workers and nurse care manager who have a deep knowledge of local resources and issues related to aging at a rate at set $175. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. You're not paying that. I guess that's what they charge um, the government, but not you. Um, so you don't have to worry. Here are the few ways Iona Care Management can help. Local and long distance family support, consultations around aging in place, making a move, managing family conflict, caregiving, giver support, monitoring health, um, custom guides and referral and housing options if you have issues with uh, with housing, healthcare advocacy for health crisis and other emergencies, coordination and rate and arrangement for home services. If you need an escort for medical appointments, social outings and more, and future planning guide. So let's say you're at home and you need somebody to escort you to the doctor. You can contact um, these people and they will make arrangements for you to get the help you need for that. I, I would assume that's if you don't have a carer, right? All right. Okay, now we have the Aging Life Care Association, formerly the National Association for Professional Geriatric. Um, they're on Pennsylvania Avenue. Um, what are they doing? They're guide families and actions and decisions to ensure quality care. Yep. All right, so this is all about care management. All right, now I'm gonna go back now. And we're gonna look for that PACE program and see if in the search, I'm gonna look for, um, see if it'll allow me to um, find it in the search. I'm going down to the PACE, P-A-C-E. Mm -hmm. 
see if I can find anything under the PACE program. Now, is the, the PACE is an acronym. Mm -hmm. It's an acronym. It stands for? Provide. Mm. All right, let me, I'll look it up and see. PACE program. Yep. Tell me what, what do you, what is it that you'd like to P -A -C -E. find? P-A-C-E. Oh, let me just, I'm going to go out of that and come back in. So we're mm. going to, I'm going here. P-A-C-E, PACE program for seniors. Is that it? Uh -huh. I would say a program of all inclusive care um, for the seniors. All right. I'm going there and see if the PACE program for seniors. Uh, here it is. D.C. All right. And here it is here. If you're a dual eligible, you may receive, okay, what is, okay. So the program for all inclusive care for mm -hmm. the elderly mm -hmm. known as PACE is coming to the District of Columbia. This page will be updated more in, okay. So this is all about the page. If you are a dual, dual eligible, you may receive a letter from DHCF about your eligible T for dual choice and pace. These programs are designed specifically for people enrolled in both Medicare and Medicaid. There's your, uh, you can read more, okay. What is the PACE program? So let's find out what it is. Yeah, because the young lady said she received a letter from them saying that she was, you know, picked to go move into one of them, but that was it. All right, so let's find she's out about reappeared. it. She's, she's on, on. she'd be on with us. I want to say, I can't think of her name. I didn't okay. get her name. I mainly got the conversation she was talking about. Okay. But I'm hoping that she will come on, you know, after she hears you talking about it. Explain um, it to you right. more. Yeah. But she, she's one and she needed seriously. She have to hurry up and get out the place where she's at. Oh, so she benefited from the PACE program. Is they they sent her a letter, but it says she was eligible. but they haven't moved no further. All right, let's find out. It said that the PACE program of mm -hmm. all-inclusive care for elderly is a nationally recognized model of care that integrates Medicare and Medicaid benefits for eligible beneficiaries. Under this model, beneficiaries are eligible for a broader array of benefits than is typically available under either Medicaid or Medicare programs. And the care is managed by a comprehensive interdisciplinary theme of clinical professionals working to deliver high quality. Okay, we, we know that. So the blended PACE program model includes both Medicare and Medicaid financing and all regularly covered Medicare and Medicaid services. All right, to be eligible for a PACE, uh, individuals must be 55 or older, meet the nursing facility level of care criteria and reside in the proposed PACE service area. Wow. Here they're giving zip codes. That's so ward seven, eight? Ward seven and eight. That's wrong. Saying, huh? Because if she live up northwest anywhere else in D.C., she can't be in that program. Well, this is what the website is it's saying. Ward so seven and eight people. Yeah, and the zip codes are 2,219, Yep, and on St. Elizabeth property, 232 is up the St. Elizabeth area. Right. So let's say, they said, what is a good candidate to enroll in PACE? Or who should? Um, they said, who meets all the enrollment criteria? Who lives in the service area of Ward 7 or 8, 55 or older? Um, but it doesn't say beyond that. Let's see. Secure a secure legal authority to operate PACE program. That's why I called that number on the side. Mm -hmm. They're not really getting into details here on it. But, I know it. Um, yeah, they're really not. They've, they're pretty they're broad on it. This, that, that number, uh, 202-442-5988, that's the number I called. Okay. I talked to lady. Did I email her? She did email me back. Uh-huh. All right. But she was just trying to explain the details. I want her to email the lady here on Zoom that's talking about it. Uh-huh. I was Got trying it. to they, seek help for her. They may do other people. They just know that those two wards have the highest number of people who are in dual me. eligible. Who are they will me. have the highest number, the highest number who are dual eligible. Right. And there might be people in wards one, two, and three, but not to the degree that right. are in seven and eight. So 
I would let them tell me no. Okay. Yeah, because I read on about that pace, and it seemed like the way they said it, because it's in Maryland and Virginia. Some are in homes, and some is in, uh, like, remote a hotel or something like that. So it showed me in Ward 7 to 8 people in 32, 232, which is Congress Heights. They have a they have a site but up on St. Elizabeth campus. Mm-hmm. They took one of them units over there and made it like that for inclusive but uh, living for seniors. The okay. Alternative to nursing homes. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Moving on. Uh, if you look at my screen to the left, I want you all to select an area that you would like us to drill down on. On notice in the column, the far left column. So we, we just went over care management. The next one is caregiver, then is clinics, computer classes, consumer information, driver safety. I don't wanna just you know, go a place that you all may not have an interest in. So I'd like to sort of um, cater it to your needs, what your needs are. Raise your hand. Okay, I see a hand went up or did it? Okay, anybody has? Any needs here that you could see that you'd like us to drill down on? End of life care, financial services and taxes, food and nutrition, government agencies, health information, health insurance and counseling, hearing and speech resources, home care and home health services. Still looking for hands and oh, couple hands went up. All right, Doris, go ahead. What would you like? Me to explore Doris. Unmute and say. Uh, okay, it's two things I'm interested in. One of them is uh, the commun- computer classes. Okay, let's go there. All right. And then I'm hoping, here it is. All right, so what do they have to offer in the DC area? They said, um, wow, again, it's at the Iona Senior Services and they uh, at St. Albums. And around town DC programs provide opportunities for socializing, lifelong learning, and wellness classes. Available activities include computer classes, workshops on Google Suite products, and using social media, technology assistance, and more. So that's at the Iona at um, Active Wellness Center at St. Albans. Okay. okay. And the other thing I want to know about home improvement and repairs. All right, so let's go, let's look for home improvement and repairs. Home care and home health services, home moving management, home organization, home repairs, here it is. We're gonna go here, all right. I think this is an interesting one. So let's look for the DC. We have here, um, DC Department of Housing. All right, it says here it's a single family residential rehab helps finance home repairs and address building code violation, uh, remove threats and healthy safety. But um, doesn't say anything with regards to seniors here though. It's just talking about the housing, Department of Housing. Now, here's one for cleaning. Cleaning for a reason, a national nonprofit that provides pro bono cleaning services to women with cancer. Okay, that's for cleaning. If you have cancer and they, um, they'll help you with cleaning, I guess, cleaning your home. All right, I'm still looking for DC. Here's another one, Rebuilding Together. This is a DC one, provides extensive home rehabilitation repairs and modification services to low-income homeowners. Okay, that sounds like what I need. It sounds like what you need or don't? Yeah, I went to the insurance commission and I have homeowners insurance. I have mold in my basement. Mm. The insurance company say they they're not gonna pay for it. Excuse me first. Not Excuse gonna- me first. Do you have anything for male cancer? Hold on a minute. Let Survivor. me finish with, Yeah, hold on. Let me finish with Doris and then I'll answer your question, okay? So you said you went there. Did you go to the health department? No. Uh-uh. No, because that's a health issue. And I got COPD. Yeah, that's a health issue. So, um one of the things that I would suggest in a case like this, 
Um, DACL has always told me if I have seniors that have issues like yours to contact the social worker there and refer the person to them. So what, what I'm gonna do now at this point is to get your name. If you, uh, I don't, you know, if you don't wanna see your phone number out loud, you could put it in the chat. And then um, we can then get you a social worker to assist you with that because that is a health issue and you shouldn't mm -hmm. be dealing with that, okay? Okay, I can give you the phone in my own mind. You don't mind? Okay, so these so are some the things DACA wants to be aware of so that they can help you, okay? So your name is? Doris Gudger. Doris? Gudger. G-U-D-G-E-R. And your phone number, Doris? 202-8478. Seven 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 three, and you have mold. Yeah, and I had a company to come out, and and I had two companies come out estimated, and I have homeowners insurance. They say they're not gonna pay for us because of Perel, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. And I was telling my doctor about it. She was said that's dangerous because I got. It sick. is. All right, so I'm gonna jump on this and make sure I get this over to the social worker, okay? Okay, thank you, Teresa. Yeah, this is something we DACL wants to know about. All yeah, right. I appreciate it. We got that covered. Now the gentleman, the person that wanted help with cancer, Carter. who is that person? Yes, I want to know, is there any anything for cancer survivors? Any cancer, anything for cancer survivors? To help with anything. Any art, for let's look at for male. For males, yeah. That's only fair. Why should they just have only females, right? Right. <laughs> um, let me see if I if I um I'm gonna do a search here and see if I could find one. Health information, health insurance coverage, home care, health moving, home, hospital. Um and if I can't, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to take your name. Go ahead and give me your name anyway. Arthur Lee Butler. Anthony, yeah. These Arthur. are, like I said, these are sort of things um, Butler, the DACO wants us to keep, to get them over to them. And uh, Anthony, if you want to put your number in the chat, you can, or you can say it out loud. I'll leave that. My number, 202. 202. Uh-huh. 520. 520. 520. 2573. 2573. All right. So you're a cancer survivor and you may need help. All right. Okay, Teresa, let me tell you this because I've been through that with my family. Okay, the let's Washington, hear it. Mm -hmm. Washington Hospital Center has a cancer institute. Mm -hmm. And those, those people are very helpful up there. I went through it with my mom, my brother, and my nephew. Mm -hmm. So he might want to check with them. Because they're very helpful with helping you. Did you hear that, um, Anthony? My name is Arthur. I'm with oh. I'm with Kaiser. Oh, you're with Kaiser. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to do Washington Hospital Center. Okay. All right. I will. I'll, um... Arthur, I would still check them out because somebody in my family did, and they were with Kaiser. Uh, and hospital Center did help them. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so did you hear that, Arthur? Yes, I hear you. Yeah, but I'll still have your name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my as much information I can, and I'm going to send out a, a, a list of needs to um, the person at DACL and let them know what our seniors are dealing with and, you know, they're having difficulty, you know, getting help. Okay? Okay, thank you. That's what I'm doing. All right. If I, we can't find it. All right, next person do I have, I see um, Jennifer Blackman, your hand is raised. Go ahead, Jennifer, you. Yes, um, can you hear me? Yep, we can. Uh, I want to find out about home care services. Food? Repeat home that. Care so what, what kind of care? Um, uh, someone, an aide to come in and, um, 
prepare me to go to dialysis. Okay. Um, I I do have one, but it, 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 it's not reliable. Um, they don't come all the time, and um, you know, I, then I have to fend for myself. So, um, and of course, you know that I'm um, double empathy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That, so that. I really need. I, I I need I and and that person is also sickly, mm -hmm. so they 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 it's a sick person taking care of a sick person. Got it. All right. So I I want to find out some more information. Maybe I need to change or something. I don't know. All right. And I I have your phone number, Jennifer. So right. I have yours. Oh to add to the list. All right, got Jennifer. Brenda Hill, go ahead, Brenda. On mute. Can you hear me? Sure can, Brenda. Yes, I'm, I'm calling about the, um, the, the, gent, uh, the young lady was asking about the rebuilding together. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going through the same thing with my mom mm -hmm. at, this, at, at this moment. Mm -hmm. uh, we just found out they have she got mold in the kitchen, uh -huh. and and she's been calling different um um she got insurance but they won't it won't it won't cover it right and she's been calling different um facilities right but trying to get an estimate of how much they want going to charge her but um she's a, she is a senior she's mm -hmm. she, you know she's a dialysis pa patient mm -hmm. and my brother. Oh, my brother and my sister live in the house with, with, um, with her. Uh -huh. and what do I need to do as far as, you know, try to get some system for, for her? Oh, so, okay. So, can you give me the details? Say it again, please. The detail of the person needing help? Okay, my mother's name is Marguerite um, Beverly Hill. Marguerite, I'm writing that down. Uh, Beverly, you said? Yes. Now you can put the number in the chat or you can say it out loud. I'll leave that down. You have mold in your home. In okay, house. it's 202. Yep. 399-9093. And you have mole in the house also. This is pretty serious yeah, though. Yes, yeah, yeah, she got it in the house now. Yeah, that is pretty serious stuff. Okay, I'll see if I can get this. Because she's trying to make more of Johnson got it down. Hello? Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. I'm still here. Yeah, it, it, she, they, 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 they are waiting for uh, the estimate of how much they're going to charge her. But the problem is, will they accommodate her like for <laughs> like staying over in, in like a hotel or anything that's reasonable for her to uh, to leave? All right. So you need uh, you need advice on that on yes, what yes, is available for that. Okay, and you can take down my number too if you'd like to. Or and who am I number. speaking with? This is Brenda Hill. <laughs> yeah, Brenda, yeah, you her. Um, so not everyone. Okay, but you, it's your mother, Marguerite, that has the most her home. It, it's not right if I'm talking in this okay. background. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of background noise, so it's difficult so. To, to hear you. Okay, I think I got it, Brenda. Go ahead and give me your number, Brenda. I'm, I'm so sorry. Say it again, please. Your number, Brenda. You wanted okay. me. Okay, okay. Yeah. My number is 202. Uh-huh. 374. 374. 6289. 6289. Okay. All right. Yeah, because this is pretty. This is serious. This, oh, it, it is. It is. All right, Brenda, I've got that. I'm going to jump on this at some point and get this information out to the social worker at DACL. Adele. Okay. Thank you. Hi, this is Adele. Thank Hi, you. Adele. For taking, thank you for taking my call. Mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to let our people know that uh, Iona offers a hard copy of their book free. They mm -hmm. will mail it to you. Uh, just give them a call. Their number, 202-895-9448. And their hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. 
they will mail out free a hard copy of their resource guide. Right. Thank you, Adele. That's very Thank thoughtful. Thank you, Adele. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Adele. Welcome. Okay. All right, Nada, we've looked at all hands. Now Will we have Walter. That number again, Adele. I'll what repeat is it. This? Two, you ready, Anne? I'll repeat the number. It for ready? The number 202 895 mm -hmm. 9448. Okay. They're op open for calls from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and they will gladly mail out free of charge. Uh, no mailing fee, a uh, mm -hmm. hard copy of their book. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you again, Adele. Mm -hmm. Walda, how are you? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm calling because, uh, uh, as I said, told you guys five months ago, my I've been a caregiver for about 11 years, and uh, my client suddenly died, mm -hmm. and I, I'm only on Social Security. And it's not enough to qualify anywhere to stay. Mm -hmm. So I'm still remaining in the same apartment uh, that um, I've been all a while, but I'm in need of um, housing and employment. Mm -hmm. Housing and employment. So let's look and see what they have for housing um, options here. Uh, Nothing. Health housing options. Okay, assisted. Excuse me, Teresa. Go ahead. The post office is hiring. The post office is hiring? Yes. Did you hear that, Wilder? Yes, post I did. Office. Okay. Go for it, I was after. thinking about, I need something, uh, maybe in home, at home employment for seniors. Oh, well, I don't know. I, I don't care. know about that. You okay. want to be like a Kara Wilder? Is that what you want to be? No, I don't want to be a caregiver anymore. Oh, okay. No, but just, just some. Um, uh, maybe I, I've thought maybe I could do some at home work. I've been an accountant for the last twenty five years, mm -hmm. so uh, I am, um, and I have a a, math, a BA in accounting. So I, you know, I've I've done plenty of work, mm -hmm. but um, my Social Security, which is eighteen forty four a month simply is not enough to qualify for anywhere to live. Oh, so man. I was, you know, so for the last five months I've been, been homeless and um, just waiting. I got in touch with DC Crisis Center and they, um, they hooked me up with this company called Prestige, mm -hmm. but I've not heard anything, you know. From them yet. So, I think Prestigious I'm, does um, housing for um, specifically for seniors at yes income. Yes, I, I've been with them for the last waiting for the last five months, but nothing has come through as yet. I'm just you know uh, concerned that I may be evicted, you mm -hmm. know, at any point. Mm -hmm. So you know, I'm just looking for any kind of other, you know, All right. any, any kind of help anywhere. Right. Um, now, I, I do know, Alda, that there, I, in the past, I've covered housing, and I received a call one day saying from a senior who, who followed up on information that I gave out on housing and called to tell me that they found a place. Amen. I was, I was so like, really? She goes, yeah, based on the information you gave me, I, I, I just kept being, I probed and probed until they were able to, she said it was a studio, but it was a place to live. Yes, yes, Just indeed. put her head down. Yes, and, indeed. Yes, yeah, so that's something like what you need. So um, I'll keep that I'll in mind. My, and I'll be glad to give you my it, phone number. Go whatever. ahead, Wilder. Mm -hmm. My phone number is 703-398-398-8220. All right, so everybody heard a Wilder's request. If you know of any mm -hmm. program, and if you're any uh, living in a senior house who may be taking applicants now, um, please let us know, let Wilder know myself so we can assist her in getting housing. Okay. Thank you. Please keep mm -hmm. that in mind. You know, if you're in a senior building that may be taking applicants now, and it does happen, it happens. Um, I know there are a 
there, uh, there's one particular place in the Northwest area over in Georgia Avenue area. They opened up senior housing there and they were taking applicants uh, last year. I don't know if they have any now, but they had openings last year. Miss Teresa, this is Carolyn Underwood. I live there. Okay, Carolyn, tell us. Now, I'm not sure. I know that I saw the resident manager taking someone around one day last week. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they have anything. Mm -hmm. I can give the I can give the number to the office and they can call and find out. Can you do that? Um, uh, Wilder, can you please take pen and paper? And take this number because they were taking up until last year when I last checked. I, okay. I haven't checked this year yet. Okay. Again. The number the number is 202. 202. 525. 525. 4842. 4842. And what is the name of the complex? Abrams Hall. A B R A M H Hall. Okay, and thank you. Ad, and the an address is 1322 Main Drive Northwest. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. In fact, I know of two seniors who got homes out that area since we did something similar like this. Uh, just saying that how much they needed it and it worked out. So it does help to share, um, say what your needs are. Okay, that was Walda. Um, you were the last person here on the list. Anybody have any other ideas or tips that Walda can get seek housing? Oh. Okay. All right, so now going back at my screen, it's still visible. Any area here in this column you would like me to drill down? Any year. Anybody need any physical therapy or, you know, any mental health? Uh, uh, physical therapy, yes. I need physical therapy. We need physical day. therapy. Me All right, let's look and see what they have available. Yeah, I, I, I'm interested in that too. I figure you would be. <laughs> Many of us, <laughs> including myself, needs physical therapy. <laughs> All right, so um, if you notice on my screen, get your pen and paper. Um, and also keep in mind that um, your provider should be offering you physical therapy, um, you know, based uh -huh, on if you need it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Keep that in mind. I know if you have Kaiser, Kaiser will offer you physical therapy. Just yes, let them know you're in pain. And they will. Uh, another, another great area to deal with pain uh, is aquatic therapy. Anybody's mm -hmm. tried that? I no, tried. I haven't heard I tried. it. Yeah, your insurance will cover that too. Mm -hmm. It's really helpful. I tried it and it worked wonderful. I'm trying to get back in it. It, it does work. In, in, to the, yes, it does. Mm -hmm. I've been receiving aquatic therapy, so I know I can speak for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask, do they come to your house? No, aquatic therapy. Is aquatic. Where you you got to go to a pool. pool. Oh, yeah. water. I saw that. Yeah. Um, Oh, what was the name of it? They sent out a email last week. Mm -hmm. Let me find it. While you're doing that, um, notice here on my screen, Movement Corpse Physical Therapy and Wellness. And uh -huh. Albemarle Street Northwest. Um, they're often physical therapy for older adults and those with neurological conditions to help them move better. Alabama Avenue, did you say? No, Albert Mayor. A-L-B-E-M-A-R-E. -E. The Northwest. M-A-R. And their phone number is 202-459-5500. Okay. Five nine four. What was right. the name again, please? I've missed the first part. Okay, it's movement up. corpse and physical therapy and wellness. Wellness. Corpse, C O R P S. Okay, I see. It. Therapy it. and wellness. Call them up. Tell them what your needs are, and um, you know, 
and, and, and find out if they have the aquatic. They may just have that to offer too. Oh, I can't find mine. Where did I put that okay. stuff? All right, okay. so there's, there's a place across from Washington Hospital Center, NIR something. NRA. NRA. Yeah. 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 Take yeah. Yeah. Your doctor have to send you there. Yeah. That's yes. the real you got to get a referral. Yeah. yeah. In all cases, oh. the physical therapy, you need a referral. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, as long as you're a senior and you have pain. Yeah. I'm doing hands. How long do you need I'm it? doing legs. Mm -hmm. I was going to tell you about the uh, University of District of Columbia. Of Columbia. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, it's called Bo the Body Wise Program. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's called Body Wise. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I think we saw that earlier, Body Wise. Mm -hmm. And they're uh -huh. starting it and they sent me an application. I used to be in it. They sent me a new application, so I have to fill it out. Uh huh. Uh, mm -hmm. You need the numbers. You have it available. It's at the okay. It's at the University of the District of Columbia. Mm -hmm. You did. And the address is forty two fifty Connecticut Avenue Northwest mm -hmm. fifth floor, and the office number is. Oh, I didn't give you the Washington D.C. two thousand eight. Mm -hmm. All right. Office number two zero two. Mm-hmm. 274-6697. And the, yeah, they say they're gonna have them. Uh your uh exercise classes will go on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mm -hmm. And you have to you have to fill out an application and get it uh signed by your doctor also. Yep. yep. Doctor uh, must sign off on that. No, no, they don't. And let me see what else. Low impact aerobics and chair exercises. Mm -hmm. Classes are conducted. That's what I do without the chair. By a pro, uh, uh, appropriately trained and certified instructors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Participants are encouraged to exercise at their personal level of fitness. The program also provides great opportunities for socializing. Okay, and I got this last week. Okay, good. All right. There's another area that you all might need help with. What about vision? How are you doing vision-wise? Dynamite, dynamite. Everybody's okay? <laughs> no. Yeah, my vision That's dynamite. An area. Right. Well, I go, I go to my... Um, I doctor. I got mm -hmm. the eye doctor in September. And I'm, mm -hmm. I, I need to get some new glasses. So I'm going to work on that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So but, uh, can I, Ms. And Lisa. I'm getting a cataract removed in September. Okay. okay. I had mine removed. Mm -hmm. Now I heard somebody wanting to share something in the background. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, this be Thelma. And, uh, you know, um, my, um, uh, physical instructor since our class is closed at the church right now he's on our I YouTube put it on there, I I'm put it exercise and other exercise with him in the morning mm -hmm. he's on every morning free on YouTube or either at uh, the Arts on Mississippi Avenue and his name is Rodney Jordan and you can catch him on YouTube uh, on your TV and he does chair exercise he does regular exercise and all, and he's a certified therapist. He worked with the different uh, wellness centers in Ward 7 and 8. Mm -hmm. And all, so you can do it. That's why I, I do chair exercise with him since I've been inside, because he have not our center may not open up, so I might have to go to Congress Heights Center mm -hmm. or Deanwood Center if I want to be, you know, among people, mm -hmm. you know, right. all, doing the exercise. But other than that, I do them. Every morning, every other morning, we're at. That's why I can't come with y'all at nine o'clock because that's when I be doing my exercise. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for sharing, Thelma. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other area before we call it? Since we're at that two thirty hour, any area that you just put out? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is oh, uh, this is Queen Harris. Mm -hmm. I had my hand a bit from the beginning. Oh, I'm so sorry, Queen. You know, I. I 
thought that we addressed you. I, I hopped over you. You're right. I apologize. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I, just <laughs> want to get, I just want to ask the question. In the beginning, when you were talking about um, a senior citizen getting help, that was the first thing you was talking about, uh, like yes. an aid, aid and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. what, what happened was I tried to get an aid, and they had everything all set up. But then they said that when I expire, I had to make my house over to them or else whoever got it would have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. Pay whatever they pay days. Mm -hmm. That just frightened me. Uh, uh, that's all. Uh, uh, that's a uh, you on Medicaid. Queen, did you hear that? Do you no, have I didn't. Medicare? Huh? Do I have Medicare? Mm -hmm. Medicaid. No, 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 I got Medicare. Blue Cross Blue uh, Shield. Find out if you're eligible. Call the district and find out if you're yeah, eligible for Medicaid. Medicaid. Mm -hmm. But they said I was not. <clears throat> oh, they told you that well, already. They, so they, 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 are, they have up the uh, amount of money you can receive now. So call <clears> them. <throat> they, all you can ask at, or call the officer agent and yeah. they will help you find uh, out about Medicaid. Yes, and, then, and if you're not eligible for that, then try um, talking to uh, the insurance people. At, well, at, um, they tell uh, because you Medicare is providing something. Hello, Teresa. I have some information on that. Go ahead, Go ahead and share. Go ahead and yeah. share. Uh, the person speaking, she might be over income for Medicaid. And the, yeah. income, bracket, the income bracket is very, very low. However, the District of Columbia have what they call Medicaid waiver. And for those people whose mm -hmm. income, those people whose income is too high for regular Medicaid, they might be eligible for Medicaid waiver, but the people yeah. at DHS won't voluntarily tell you that. It's that's something right. that's, it's oh, something that's offered in DC and great. not offered all over the country. So that's where right. are you speaking okay. to? So and that is be. There are a lot of people who own houses and, and they get Medicaid waiver. Once you get Medicaid waiver, unless your income is above 2,200 a month, then you would be eligible for Medicaid waiver. Get a Medicaid card and receive all the benefits of those who, have, who make um, under $8,000 um, per year who have Medicaid. Medicaid waiver is a key word to remember, okay? But I make over 2200 per month. Oh, I don't know. I'm still not going to qualify for it. Uh, you don't know. They, they raised some of the, uh, the things. You really have to try to talk to somebody. Let them tell you not eligible. I, got, I, got, I, finally, I got a Medicaid waiver and I've been on a waiver. I've, and I'm even on the Medicaid uh, My Way program. Did you hear that? So yeah. those of you know, while the, while the you said, while the you said that you are only making eighteen hundred a month, so you might want to explore the um, Medicaid waiver. Um, can you see my screen? I pulled it up. I'm looking here now. Eighteen hundred is less than two thousand. Less than exactly. twenty two. Yes, but they have up. They have up. The, they went up on the amount of money this year. Three thousand. Oh, they have. Mm hmm Listen to Brenda and let them tell you that you're not eligible. And when they tell you you're not eligible, say, "What else does the D.C. government have that can assist me? Because I am in need of aid service." And Thank you, you. Yeah, talk yes. to them. Let them tell you. Thank no. you very much. They don't volunteer no information. I hope they hear me. <laughs> well, thank you, Teresa. Because I, I had to go out and, and I, I, but I had a good case manager, and oh. that girl worked, uh, worked and got me a whole bunch of stuff. I don't pay for any medicine. I have home delivery. The drugstore brings me my medicine. I don't pay. Curtis died. I, we did not owe one cent. He spent three weeks in intensive care. That bill was forty five thousand dollars. Okay, and that, we, don't, that we don't have to pay not one penny. Hey, uh, Miss hey. Dennis. Yes. Can, can you um, give me your telephone number? Can you call me? 
I can give you my phone number. My phone number is 202. Uh huh. 302. Okay. 1767. One, 1767? One, yes, ma'am. And if okay. I don't answer right away, it's because I'm indisposed. Okay. <laughs> okay, how so? How so, Miss <laughs> Dennis? How will you be indisposed? In what manner? Now, now you're trying to have <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Okay. Miss Dennis. May I have your number, please? This is Wilma T. Sure. You want me to put it in the chat or you want me to just tell it to you? Just tell it to you. Yes, put it in the chat. 302. Huh? 202. 202. 302. 302. 172. 167. Six seven. Okay. okay, thank you. I'll give you a call. Okay, and I'm just yeah, telling, thank you. If, if I don't answer it, it's because I'm either on the chair, and when I go from up and down stairs, it cuts it off. It cuts off the um, signal. Oh, okay. Okay. The, yeah. Okay. My but name is. Call me, I, will call I promise to leave you. Okay. Now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anne. To wrap it up, I just want to bring to your attention here, if you see my screen, where it says uh, eligibility for the waiver, the Medicaid waiver. Yeah. Notice the amount. It says in, for 2022, which was last year, the standard mm -hmm. was 300% of the SSI benefit, which is 2,500. There you go. Individual. However, Washington, D.C. has decided to go above the federal standard asset limits, allowing what? Look at the amount. Four Whoa! I, 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 can, I can apply now. What Eight is thousand for an individual. That's right. Six thousand for a married couple. So there you go. All of you who are making less than this, you yes. are eligible for Medicaid. That's right. I was for Waiver. I was told I can't get Medicaid because well, I was making a waiver. Well, you can't waiver. Waiver. Yes. Waiver. The waiver. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Waiver. So keep okay. that in mind. Um, you might want to, all uh, right. Um, what I could do is um, probably get all the details of it and then come back on at some point and say how you can apply for it and who to be in touch with. So you are eligible. Okay? Yes, you are. Thank you, thank you. All of you I knew who you are making uh, less than nah, 4,000. Uh, we're almost what? Nursing home level? Mm -hmm. No. No, no I'm that's not what I was told. That no, you don't. Know. No, I no, was so no, so no, I stayed well, like that. I'll see, be I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. That's for nursing home level people. Nope, not true. No, no, that is not true, Selma. No, ma'am, I'm not in a nursing home when I get it. You can I'm not, I'm not a day. 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 in a nursing home. I'm going to be in a nursing home. I've got three aides. I've got 17 hours, a, a day <laughs> and a half. And I am not a nursing home. I don't need a no aid. I don't need Well, I don't have no aid. We're going to get on the waiver program. I don't saying. need no aid, Anne. Then she's yeah. not talking about you. Yeah. If you don't need the aid. I'm talking about being on the waiver. Trusted by myself. She's talking about people who need it. Yeah. Who need yeah, it? I know. I'm talking about when I apply for it. I went for the Medicaid stuff and all. Right, right after that, that fall. Mm. When I started walking, that that disqualified a whole lot of stuff. If I stayed flat on my back and was able to walk, I could have got it all. You know, because okay. I was trying to get that pro, even that over the counter uh, buying the, uh, the uh, aspirin and stuff like that over I couldn't even get that because I couldn't get that Medicaid stuff. I showed up and tried. Did you use the word <laughs> well? I, 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 and I couldn't stay by myself because, you know, anything, if I do one more fall, I'm gone. Mm -hmm. so, so, the temporary waiver, my, if you my children, my fall. daughters, but I can cook, I can do anything else. I'm just betting that fall. 
And you don't have to be in a nursing home. No, you do not in a nursing home. I am not. I am in my home. There you go. Yeah, and right. that's your home, right? You have to have. You have to have. I have medication. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And that's the problem is you can't tell them that you can do all that stuff. That's, that's the right. Problem. Go in there and lie for them. When you tell you them, you don't have to lie. You just limit what you say. Yeah, just limit what. Okay, no, before, tell the before we go on, I see we have a Marie. Franklin, Marie, you have your hand up. Can yes, yes. I like to know what the number is. Yeah. For the, Medicaid waiver. the number for the Medicaid waiver. Yes. You mean the actual phone number? Yes. Let me see if I can find it here online and give it to you. Um, let me, I'm going to look it up right now. This is good. Let me, if you want to call. So while, she's, while she's looking that up, the reason I have Medicaid waiver is because I'm a far risk. You are a far risk. Yeah. You're eligible. I, you know, Amen. I can do all that other stuff, but I'm a far risk. And matter of fact, Amen. since I'm a far risk, they won't even give me a pass to ride on Metro Access bus. So I had the blue Metro Access card because I'm a far risk. So you're right. a far risk. And so that makes you eligible. Amen. Are you ready? I'll um, you can cook. Marie, yes. you have your pen ready? Yeah. I looked it up. It says here for DC. Area code 202. 702. You have a case manager? 724. 5626. 5626. And okay. you can apply, if the person's can apply for the EPD waiver by completing a long term care medical assistant application. Persons can request application via the Department of Aging, which is DACL. So this is a DACL number. Okay, yes. thank you. So, so then you call DACL and say, look, um, yeah, and you say you're in the iPad program and you found out about it and you'd like to apply for it. Okay, thank you. Your Hello, Ms. James. Uh, uh, Ms. James. And, 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 and do you have a case manager? But she probably will. Manager. They will yeah, give you one. They probably will get one. They will give you one. I have a case you manager. All right, so I, I want to go up to, okay, hold on, uh, hold on, I've got Lorraine waiting, Lorraine has been waiting. Go ahead, Lorraine. I said, I have a case manager. She was saying that I have a case manager. And Dennis was saying that I have a case manager. Yes, I do. So okay, she should I told you about ask the case manager. She should be able to help you too, if she's a good okay. one. And okay. I'll tell you how to get one. Okay. All right. Thank so you. I'm not, so I want to go with Lorraine and then I want to go with Michael. And Can you give the number again, Miss James, please? Oh, the DACL number? Yeah, it's 202-724. Uh, let me see what they have in there. Those, those pull-ups right there, you can put those on the table. So okay. what else is it? Hold on, hold on. You need to meet yourself if you're whoever that is. What was I, that number? Okay, 202-724-5626 and tell them you'd like to apply for the EPD waiver. Thank you. Uh, all right. All right. So thank you. Um, that was who? Who was that? Lorraine? All right. So I can lower your hand. I can lower Marie's hand. I'm going to go now with uh, Angela Robinson. Go ahead, Angela. Um. Angela, you have a question? No. All right, Michael. Go ahead, Michael. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to uh, say uh, you are very, very commendable, very, very good to give us all this information, Miss James, because you're better than three one one the mayor's <laughs> office and everybody <laughs> combined. I mean, uh, I I have gone through this many, many times and uh, get all kinds of things, you know, twisted and, you know, people tell you different things and people don't know certain things, but everything you're saying uh, is, is, is ABC. Yeah, it's just like that. So everyone listening, just, just take heed because it, it works. It really does, you know? So these are uh, good, good influences that you're, you're bringing forth to us, Ms. James. And I, I thank yeah. you, thank God for you. 
Thank you, that Michael. Quite, yes, you are right. Thank you, Michael. Mm -hmm. Teresa, read my, read, my, read my chat, Teresa. Okay, I'll do that, but I want to go back to Angela while I read your chat. Thank you. Yes. Can you go hear ahead, me? Angela. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, good. Um, first of all, I just want to comment about all the different people that's talking at the same time. And um, they need to mute or, or get off the chat or whatever. That one person talking one time. And the second part of that is, um, can you address the gentle part of uh, the aging process? Because I do have Medicare and Medicaid, but it's QMB and Met and Gentle is not. Go ahead, Angela. We lost you. Okay. De dental is not covered mm -hmm. and I have Medicaid and Medicare QMB so I was just wondering whether or not you have any other process yeah. well that would be when I would have to look up because I'm not versed entirely in what I mm -hmm. would even have to look up what is QMB I've heard of it but I don't quite know well, it, it means you're over income like the ladies were talking earlier uh -huh. I was over income when I applied for Medicare. Qualified medical benefit. Right, Medicare and Medicaid. And they gave me QMB. So which means partial of my social security check goes to them. Okay. Excuse me. Anybody in the program knows beyond that? Anybody's okay, can answer me. her Q question. Q QMB is qualified Medicaid benefits. Mm -hmm. uh, and she, if you she needs something for her that's dental, that's if she needs something for her dental, she had to get more for Medicare. There's you have A, B, and C, D, and E. You have to you have to add on to it for your dental. Did you it's hear that? Extra benefits. I did hear that, but because that of the doctors, I also have a debilitating disease. I have cancer, mm -hmm. and I can't change my doctors for <laughs> uh, them to. Uh, get on a uh, supplemental program. Mm, mm. So that's why I was asking, did you have any uh, other um, yeah. agencies or something? No, at this point, I can't say yes to that. I'm not. Okay. And, Dennis, and Dennis probably no. no. And Dennis? <laughs> uh, is that true, and Dennis? <laughs> yeah. Dennis. Uh, I can only tell you that my Medicare and my Medicaid and I have something called help. Uh, and and um, my dental is paid for. And, okay. and this year, is this year I can go and get uh, implants if I want them. Mercy. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Do, do, do. Get implants if you want. But you got you gotta you kinda gotta search around. Uh, I do a lot of hurt, talking on this phone and searching around and, and investigating and and talking to a lot of different things. So um, I, I, I'm nosy and I'm looking for help and I went and found it. Thank you okay, for hearing thank that. You. All right, I got one last person, I think is Adele. Adele, your hand has been raised for a while. Go ahead, Adele. Okay, this is Adele, thank you. Um, I just wanna mention that the Iona at um, the um, Tenley Town on Albemarle Street, uh, they have a lot of programs that they offer, but we have to be careful about calling them about their programs. For example, I have a cousin that was with the Alzheimer's program. They pick you up, the daycare, and take you back home. Uh -huh. However, the trick is you have to be in certain zip codes, like my cousin lived on Western Avenue, which was in their zip code. So we have to be careful about that. They offer a lot of good things, but some of them, you have to be within a certain zip code, which is in their area to qualify to join. I just wanted to share that. Wonderful go to information, Adele. Appreciate it. Wonderful information. Okay. Yeah. Sandra, Excuse me. go ahead, Sandra. Sandra Hi, Teresa. I have um, for um, health benefits. Mm 
and mm-hmm. to um, get assistance with health benefits, I use um, Donna, D-O-N-N-A. Her last name is Tabot, T-A-B-O-R. Her telephone number, 443-506-3427. She will um, assist you in getting all the benefits that you need. Well, did you hear that, um, everyone? I'm going to repeat the number. No, could you, no, could get, you repeat that? Get your pencil ready. I'm going okay. to name it. Donald D O N N A last name Tabard T A B O R telephone number 443 Two seven. Okay. What? And who's that? That was Sandra. That's excellent information, Sandra. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, she will help you. She will assist you. Come, uh, come to your home, and mm-hmm. help you fill out the paperwork, and she'll turn them in and everything. Whoa! Did you all hear that? Is she a social worker too? She's with um, DATA Insurance Group. Mm-hmm. Oh, does that mean you have to join that insurance uh, group? No, 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 no. Whatever benefits that you qualify for, she will help you to get those benefits. Oh, okay. Okay, she thank will you. She do all the process mm-hmm. for you and everything. Oh, thank you. Come me. to your home. Excuse me. Donna, Donna Table is where you're not in health care, so... You oh, you need to watch that. United Healthcare. Yeah, you need to watch the United Healthcare. Okay. You really do. You have to watch them because they they want you to change doctors and uh, a lot of other stuff. I won't and, do uh, it. <laughs> and That's I won't do it. Yeah, but I'm sure will help you assist in getting okay. any other care that you need to. Not only United Healthcare. Okay. Okay. You have to be a member of United Healthcare, from what I gather. But anyhow, um, the office. No, you don't. You don't have to be a member of United Healthcare. That's not what they told me, but uh, you know, I had to quit them last year. Why don't you let me find out? Let Let me find out. Yeah, find out. Find find out. Because I'm interested in what what they're telling one person. Mm-hmm. Yes, please do find out. Yeah, I'll find out. I want to thank you all thank for you. Uh, your um, those of you who shared such a wealth of information. Um, I got us a, a chat here from Harold saying this session is one needing a repeat. So yes. definitely together, collectively we share so much valuable information. So we'll try yes. to do this again soon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, making sure because there are so many needs and so many of you that not able to access the right agencies or the numbers right. being forever. And that's why I'm working with the DC Umbus, um men to come in and talk some more about these needs. So right. I'm really doing that. I, I, I sent them an email. They said they're looking into um, looking at what time they can be available to do it. So uh, yes, we're going to go down this road again um, pretty soon, somewhere in September, late September, okay? Uh, and Miss, Miss um, James, I wanted to say one thing. There is, that you have to advocate for yourself too, but when you get a good case manager, there are some out there, there are some who, who are not out here doing for you. There's a lot of people out here doing stuff uh, to to get that little paycheck, but there are some people out there that want to make sure that their clients are comfortable, and 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 get the help that they need. Yes, ma'am. And, That's and true. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank so I'm you. Just, I'm not, and I'm not trying to try, say that I know everything, but I'm just telling you. For the last oh, yeah, three years, I had I did a lot of researching, 
and I was able to get Curtis um, all the health care. Like I said, that was $40,000, $45,000 bill. We don't have to pay a dime of it. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you, Ann. All right. All right. It is that time. It is three o'clock. I want to yeah. tell the two individuals with the mole in their home, I will be um, contacting the uh, back <laughs> home, finding out what can they do to assist you. The two individuals, that's Marguerite and um, it was another person, mole in a home. Um, I'll be contacting them. Doris. Yeah. Okay, Doris. I'll be contacting them. A social worker saying an email off saying that this is a health issue and it needs to be dealt with. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. I appreciate it. All yeah. right. So let's say thank you to all those who contributed and those who took thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. We'll do this again. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. God bless thank you. all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody stay oh, healthy. Look, anything and, I know that I can share, I am always willing to give. Her. And she does. Amen. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you, Denise. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. right, so I want you all also to oh, keep in man, mind, on, there's a little shift in change in, in uh, on Thursday. On Thursday, we're having uh, a, a, a healthcare um, uh, nurse practitioner. She's coming in to deal with, talk to you all about very important manners, uh, matters, not manners, matters. <laughs> uh, advanced directive, we all need advanced directive, we, every single one of us. Yeah, and one. she's going to stress the importance of it. She's coming. She's not coming on at 1.30, she's coming on at 12.30 because of her hours, she's oh. not available at the later time. But 12.30, I want everybody to check in that day because this is so, so critical. And the only reason she's doing it is because she is actually at those healthcare providers stressing how, the importance of it. Okay. Okay. All right. It's marked on my calendar already. All right. So what day is that? This Thursday. What's the time on that? 12.30. 12.30. 12.30. It's very important for every single one of us. For Thursday? Okay. Yeah, this yes. Thursday. Thank you. I did, man. I did, I'm man. not going anywhere. I did, man. Okay. Yep. I'll be Thank here. You. All right. I'm going to say God bless and goodbye. Uh, and goodbye to all. I got to go do that. Goodbye. Thank you, Miss Teresa. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. No, that's fine. It's